The warning from the CDC, the coronavirus is spreading so quickly around the globe. To spread the despite continues into its seventh month, more people are becoming food insecure. The unemployment rate is Just skyrocketing. Just last week alone, close to a quarter million workers filed claims Since for Friday unemployment. Night at 6 through midnight, a total of 12 people have been shot and killed here in Chicago. 51 people shot over the holiday Ten weekend. 10 people in all were killed by shootings in Chicago a normal start this to this discussion would be say good evening. But it's not a good evening in our city right now. This year has been a challenge. Iman decided early on in 2020 that we were just going to take it as our mantra for the year that in the matter of Surah, the Quranic injunction that reminds us that with every difficulty there is ease. We decided to find the openings in that. One of the things that we knew would be at stake this year was fighting the isolation and alienation of already vulnerable communities. The national cry was social distancing, and we immediately said, no, we'll encourage physical distancing, but social connectivity. And this is every Wednesday from four to five, Right here on 62nd and Gracie. When I say how you feel, y'all say good, okay? How you feel, y'all feel. Yeah. Say how you feel, how you feel. Yeah. Anybody else would like to share? Anybody? Come on, sis. Yes. We made sure our green reentry intervention specialists were equipped to do their street outreach safely, helping to spread awareness about the virus to people and get food and supplies and valuable information into people's hands. What is your cocoon like right now? What are you worrying about? We launched the Internet Cypher series to connect people across the country to artists and to each other. This year, we really saw the power of the arts to make a huge impact in the realm of social justice. We saw the launch of the album, This Love Thing, with Iman's executive director, Ramina Shashibi, and Iman roster artist, Drea Denur, executively producing this powerful compilation of music featuring several other Iman roster artists, and using a song like Mama Please to help pass a critical piece of police accountability legislation in Buffalo, New York, called Carriol's Law. And it was artists and activists like Drea who were at the helm of that effort. When protests erupted across the globe after the murder of George Floyd, there was also a reckoning around the place of immigrant-owned businesses in Black neighborhoods, which is an issue that Iman has been championing through our corner store campaign almost since our inception. Iman, as an entity, it is, it's right for us to be able to be the entity that mitigates, that, that step in to really kind of create a new reality. Shortly after the murder, Iman contacted our partners in Minneapolis and we held a virtual town hall session with people from across the country discussing the issue and unveiling the Corner Store Witnesses program. Our curriculum designers and trainers will work with Iman's team of experienced organizers and facilitators to develop four virtual trainings. An effort to train corner store owners, organizers, and just everyday people on how to stand up to anti-Black bigotry in their stores and in their neighborhoods. All of this has had a severe impact on communities of color. We faced the bloodiest summer in recent history in Chicago. We lost three of the men in our Green Reentry program to violence. Out of 
And at the same time that we knew we wanted to keep people safe from COVID, we knew we had to find a way to re-engage people in person. We started slowly bringing back participants in groups. And we've now institutionalized our Green Reentry Weekend Warriors as a three semester program in partnership with City Colleges in Chicago. All of this happened in a year when Iman was applying for the largest grant in our history. And though our initiative, Go Green on Racing, did not win the Chicago Prize, we developed and advanced the most detailed, ambitious, and thoroughly vetted plans in our history to facilitate a stunning new grassroots-led transformation of a critical intersection in the heart of Inglewood. The whole point is to change this street and this, these blocks to make it look like something that we once knew. And we're gonna make it ours. Assalamu alaikum. For five years, Iman has been answering the question of how relevant this model is across the country through our work in Atlanta. We launched our Fresh Beats and Eats Farmers Market as a food box program this summer and provided stable housing to families in our Green Reentry Village. We took our Reentry Roundtable conversations virtual, gathering dozens of people across the country to have critical conversations about reentry. Of course, we can't forget that all of this happens in a very important political year. We launched the No Taxation Without Representation campaign this year to raise awareness about the 266,000 people in Georgia who are denied the right to vote. We'll be ramping up this campaign with thousands more signatures and working to turn this effort into meaningful legislation so that the next time we vote, over a quarter of a million people in Georgia have the right to vote with us. In Namara we are so grateful that in this incredibly intense time, we experienced nothing less than humble generosity. And undoubtedly, the ease we found this year has in great part come from our community. That spirit and that support has been our lifeblood from the beginning. And we will continue to rely on that in the difficult days to come as we work to strengthen this organization into an institution that can continue to fight ceaselessly for lasting change. <laughs>